assalamu alaikum dear ones this is your instructor miss komal here and today we are going to go through the exercise of the poem that we have been reading in our last lecture so first of all we will read about the poet ami lol she was born in 1874 and died in 1925 and was an american poet of great accomplishment She wrote essays, translated the works of others, and wrote literary biographies, including one about John Keats, the poet. Her work is full of imagery, so she is known as an imagist poet. Her book *What's a Clock* was awarded the Pulitzer Prize in nineteen twenty-six. So in part A of our exercise is uh, we are going to answer the following questions. So the first question that we have here is, what is needed for the twig to become healthy and strong? So the answer would be the twig should be planted, watered, and set where the sun will be above it to become healthy and strong. So the next question is, in what ways will the twig develop if it is cared for? so the answer for this question would be if cared for the twig will develop into a tall bush with many flowers and sparkling leaves the third question is what is a closet and what might be found there so the answer for this question would be a closet is a large cabinet or area like a cupboard for storage in in it there may be odds and ends such as a mouse trap and blunted tools so the next question is is the closet mentioned in the poem used much how do we know so the answer would be the closet is not used much there are mouse traps in it and the tools are blunt so the next question is will the twig grow in a closet and why the twig will not grow in a closet because it is too dark and there is little fresh air inside the next one is what is the twig compared to the to in the second stanza or you can say in the last stanza the twig is compared to an old twisted nail and do you think uh, the poet has a message or messages for the reader yes of course there is a message in the poem for the reader uh, that um, encourages something even if it is small and appears useless the poet is also telling us to nurture and look after the young livings like children for example and and by doing so they will blossom into wonderful beings if children are neglected like a uh, twig and uncared for they will not reach their full potential so the next question is find where these expressions are used in the poem read uh, the lines and the number of times and try to understand the meaning of the expression explain the meaning in in your own words so it is only a little twig uh, it is only a little twig mean it is just and merely a little twig and set it where the sun will so set it means place it or plant it so uh, thirds here and there means spread here and there recover themselves mean regain the upright posture and clash one upon another mean collide with each other so uh, the next question is answer the following questions with reference to the context so we have here the reference from the poem with mouse traps and blunted tools it will shrivel and waste so the first question that we have here is for this reference is what does it refer to so the answer would be the word it refers to the twig so the second question is where are the mouse traps and blunted tools So the answer would be the mouse traps and blunty tools are in the closet. So the next question is what might it look la like later if it is left with the mouse traps and blunty tools? So the answer would be the twig might look like an old twisted nail. So this was your class student this was your lecture see you in another class till then take care love is